Good morning scholars, welcome back to the channel. This morning we're going to be looking at long division. So I want you to look at these letters that I have here. DMSC, right? So that is a strategy that we can use in long division to make sure that we get our correct answer. So the D stands for divide, M stands for multiply, S stands for subtract, and C stands for carry on. Those are the four operations we're going to be doing to complete our long division me, exercise. Me, Pardon me? Say that again. I sent the I in my way. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and set out our division brackets, right? So the first thing we do is divide. 26 divided by 8. Now, 2 cannot be divided by 8. Regularly speaking, we could actually have 2 divided by 8, which will give us a fraction, right? But that's another matter. We're actually going to put a 0 here, or we can leave the space. 8 cannot go exactly into 2, or we would get a fraction, which we're dividing whole numbers now. So what we say is, 8 into 26. How many times can 8 go into 26? So that is 2 times. So that's the division part of it. Now we're going to multiply. So this, this answer that we got from the division, we say 2 times 8, that's 16. And now we're going to subtract 26, take away 16, that's 10. If we had another number here to continue the division, we would carry it down. That's what the C means. We would carry it down and start the process all over again. Divide, multiply, subtract, carry it down. So since we have nothing else, this is our answer. Now we could, so this is our remainder. The 26 was the dividend. The 8 was the divisor. The 2 is the quotient, and 10, actually, 8 into 26, it should be 3 times. 3 times, so that's, a, that's an error there. If you are dividing and you get a remainder that's bigger than the divisor, that means it could go into it more times, right? So 16 was incorrect, 3 eighths, 24. So actually, the remainder then is two. All right, so whenever you're dividing, if you end up with a remainder that's more than the divisor, that should be a key to you, that you did something wrong, you made a mistake, so you need to go back and see if it can go into it another time, which, is, which was the case. All right, so let's go over that. A goes into 26 three times, 3 8 24, and when we subtract, we get 2. So the dividend is 26. That's the number we were asked to divide. The divisor is 8. The answer that we get, 3, the quotient, so it goes into it exactly 3 times, but there is a remainder as well. So the remainder is 2. Now we can write this a number of ways. We can write it as a decimal, we can write it as a fraction. Or we can just put R2, we can just put 3 remainder 2, we can write it as 3 and 2 over 8, which is 3 and a quarter. So we can express it as a um, fraction, a mixed number. Or like I said, we could write it as a decimal, 8 point whatever. That's for another video. All right, but this is the procedure. So let's do now 146 divided by 3. All right, so 3 cannot go into 1 exactly, or we'd get a decimal, right? 
So you can either put a zero here. I'm going to put a zero just for now, but I don't like putting zeros in front of whole numbers. So sometimes your teacher would ask you to put a zero to show that you're holding the place. For the rest that I'm going to do, I'm not going to be putting a zero if it can't go into it, except in the middle of the number or at the end of the number, but not at the beginning. So it can't go into one without get given a um, fraction. So three into 14 goes four times. That's the division. So now we are to multiply. 4 times 3, that's 12. Now we are to subtract. 14 take away 12, that's 2. And now we carry down this 6. So now it becomes 26. And we start the process over again. 3 into 26 goes 8 times. 8 3 is 24. 26 take away 24, that's 2. We have nothing more to carry down. This is our remainder. So we can put remainder 2, or we can write it as 48 remainder 2 over 3. Okay, our third problem. So we have 8,051 divided by 9. 9 can't go into 8. 9 into 80. Right, it goes 8 times. That's the division part. Now we multiply 8, 9, 72. Now we subtract. And we have a remainder of 8. And carrying down, when we carry down the 5, we get 85. Right? Carried on 5, so now we start over again. 9 into 85 goes 9 times. 9 nines, 81. 85 take away 81, leave 4. Carry down the 1 down here. So that's 41. And we start over again, divide again. 41 divided by 9. That's 4. 4 nines, 36. 41 take away 36, we have a remainder of 5. So, we can put remainder 5, or we can write it as 894 remainder 5 over 9. 5, 9. Alright, so we're at number 4. We're dividing... 2, 6, 4, 7 by 8. 8 into 26 goes 3 times. 3, 8 is 24. We subtract, that leaves 2. Carry down the 4. 8 into 24, 3 times. 3, 8 is 24. So we get 0 and we carry down the 7. Now 8 goes into 7 0 times. So this 0 we must put to hold that place. 0 times 8, that's 0, and we subtract. So our remainder is 7. So we can write 3, 3, 0, and 7, 8. All right, so now we have 3,200 divided by 15. Now, if you don't know the 15 times table, or if you're dividing by a divisor, you don't know that time table, you want to know how many times you can go into the number. Go to the side and keep adding the number until you get as close to the number that you're dividing it into. So we're, we're saying how many 15s can we get out of 32? Keep adding 15. So when we add 15 and 15, we get 30, which is pretty close to 32. We couldn't get another 15 out of that. So it's two times. And we put that here. Now we multiply 2 times 15. Again, go to the side and work out. If you don't know it out of your head, 2, 5, 10, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3. That's 30. Subtract. Carry down the 0. 
15 into 20, we know that's one time. One time 15, 15. Subtract again. Finally, carry down that zero. Again, you can keep adding 15 to see how many times. So when we add 15 three times, we get 45, which is pretty close to 50. So we know it's three times. Three times 15 give 45. And finally, our remainder then is five. So we put remainder five, or we can write 213 and 515, which can be reduced to one third. So 213 and one third. All right, so we have two to go. We're dividing 40,169 by 12. 12 can't go into 4. We don't put anything over the 4 or you put a 0 there to hold the space. 12 into 40 goes 3 times. 3 12 is 36. Subtract. Leave 4. Carry down the 1. 12 into 41 again, 3 times, 3 12 is 36 again. This time a remainder of 5 carried on the 6. 12 into 56, that's 4 times, 4 12 is 48. We have a remainder of 8 and we carried on the 9. 12 into 89 goes 7 times, 12, 7 is 84, and finally we have a remainder of 5, we have nothing more to carry down, so we put remainder 5, or we can write 3,347 and 5, 12. Our final example, 9,400 divided by 25. Now the 25 times table is pretty easy to learn, just like the 20 times table. 25, 50, 75, 100, and so on. So there are four 25s in 100. 25 into 94. If you don't know it, you can still go to the side, keep adding 25, and see how close you get to 94. Now if we added another one, we'd pass 94 and go to 100. So we know it's three times. Count how many times you are able to add. Now you multiply. 3 times 25 is 75. Subtract. That's 19. Carry down the 0. And keep adding 25s until you get as close to 190. But remember I told you there are 4 25s in 100. So that's 4 out of this. And 3 in the 90, because that, that would take us to 75. So that's 7. And 25 times 7, just to check, 5, 7 is 35. 7, 2 is 14 and 3, 175. And we subtract. And finally, we bring down that 0. How many 25s are in 150? Well, if there are 4 in 100, that means there are 2 in 50. So that's 4 from the 100 and 2 from the 50, that's 6. Or you can just keep adding 25s until you get to 150. 25 times 150 time, times 6 is 150. So we have a remainder of 0. You don't have to put remainder 0, you can. So this is your final answer, just 376. No remainder. Sometimes when you divide, you get no remainder. It goes exactly into the dividend, and you get a quotient without a remainder. All right, so that's it for long division. If you have not grasped it, just play over the video as many times as you need to. And if you have, been, if you have benefited from this video, just drop a line to say thank you, miss, and share the video so other students can benefit from it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do videos on any other topic and I will do that for you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.